Okay, so I looked it up, and it is this one. And he's just like, I don't feel like it. Uh. God damn it. <laughs> that's really fucking annoying, actually. As far as I can tell, like, that's the manhole that takes you back down to the meta progression system with the digging and the and the trash guy and like all these like why am I collecting trash if I can't go down the manhole and like it's chapter three like based on the last campaign chapter four will be the end of his campaign so like when do I go back to trash and master mining boy dude stuff like what the fuck like <laughs> Why is this game like this, guys? Why is it like this? Saitama's campaign is weird because you spend the first two chapters just getting to the open world. Then when you get to the open world, they introduce, like, in a mandatory way, the system you're going to deal with, like, now. So, like, instead of it being a hostess club, it's like, here's this digging thing. But then you leave that place and they lock you out. And you can't go back in until, um... At some point? I don't know when. But, like, we're gonna run out of time, right? Because, like, I only have so much time until I switch to another character or something. It, what the fuck? <laughs> Why did they make it this way? <laughs> Why would they lock me out of there? As for, like, <laughs> what story thing is locking me out of that? I don't, I don't understand. I'm so confused. I don't have any reason to think there's, like, a story thing that's happening in that basement that they won't let me in there until because of the whatever. The blah, 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 blah. It's like, what? It's, it would be like as if you played as Akiyama, and then they just locked you out of Akiyama's business, and you couldn't go in there. And you're like, what? But what if I want to do the hostess managing stuff? Nah. You're locked out. Why? Why did you... Why did you do that? So yeah, I'm not completely crazy. Because I was looking around trying to find ways to get in, and I'm like, there's got to be a way to get in there. Why can't I get in there? The fuck? Like, it's the place I'm supposed to go to, right? And I kept not being able to find a way in. And it turns out... The game's just weird. Like, I had to look it up. And yeah. They just... Lock you out of the place that you would clearly want to have access to throughout his campaign. And I don't know... Why they did that. It's especially kind of a dick move because Saijima's kind of hard to play. And weren't, weren't those things giving me upgrades, which it would be nice to have. Like, I want those upgrades, please. But I also don't want to reload a save from hours ago, do that stuff, and then replay all the stuff I've done since I left that manhole. So, fuck me, I guess. Oh. I've been waiting for you. You again. Watch the gig this time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's cut to the chase, shall we? Your job is to act as bodyguard for a certain individual. Specifically, you're to escort that individual to a certain location. What's more, you are to deliver him there safe and sound. That's it. You'll likely encounter a fair number of obstacles along the way. It's up to you to decide how to handle them. Do you have any questions? For starters, this certain individual I'll be escorting. What kind of person are we talking about? Yeah. I'm terribly sorry, but that information is confidential. I do hope you understand. Hmm. Shut up and do your job, you mean. You're free to decline, if you so wish. Putting your life on the line for a perfect stranger isn't exactly the smartest way to spend your free time, after all. Here comes the siren, is it warning me? Smart or stupid has nothing to do with it. Any guy who goes back on a promise to save his own ass, that ain't no man at all. Is that why you got... <laughs> is this the logic system of backing yourself into a corner that got you into a situation where you had to murder 20 people? Mm -hmm. Then do you accept the assignment? Yeah. Very well. Then let's discuss the particulars. First, proceed to the parking space behind Millennium Tower. That's where I'll introduce you to the client. See you there. Let's see. Nope. Don't have the map yet. The parking space behind. All right, they don't they don't mark things in this game anyway. Shit. Behind the Millennium Tower. Okay, so we're right here anyway. That's good. 
So I had one of those moments where I read something aloud and then realized I didn't actually process the words that I just said. I was like, wait, shit. Well, parking space behind what? <laughs> we're fine, we're fine, everything's fine. Are you ready? Yep. Are you sure I'm gonna be safe with this guy? You can breathe easy. Of all our employees, I'd wager he's our very best. How can he lie with such a straight face like that? Very well, then. Best of luck to you. But allow me to repeat myself, just in case. Your job was to hand over this gentleman safe and sound. If anything should happen to him, you'll take a commensurate amount of blame. Are we clear, Suzuki-san? Yeah. I heard you the first time. Excellent. Then I bid you farewell. How can you lie with such a straight face? I mean, you might be the most capable client they have, or employee, even if you're a temp. Uh, oh boy, why me? They ain't wasting any time. You stay put, hear me? Kill him, quick! Crud, I just wet myself! What? It's a little extreme. Shit. A job's a job, but I'm losing motivation real quick. Ah, screw it. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Didn't even, like, say anything. Oh, he's got a sword. Wow, that escalated. Swords only work when you swing them. Oh god. No, 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 no. Stop it. <laughs> I'm happy to have that ability. Well, he really focused on my target. His target, my target. Yeah. Hmm. Piece of cake. You saved me. Come on now. Don't just lie there. On your feet. Let's hustle. Ugh. Have you considered, like, a mask? Maybe an entire... Maybe more than a mask. A mask got costume. Just an entire costume. Just disguise yourself. Completely. They'll never catch you, because you're like, I don't know, the onion, bun, whatever thing from Overwatch or something. Getting close to the drop-off spot. Almost there, pal. Buck up. Really? Just a little farther. We only walked down, like, a block? Not even a block? This is a shockingly short distance. How did you get to the starting point safely? I know I ain't supposed to ask, but what'd you do, anyway? Frankly, you don't look like the guy worth putting a hit on. I can't tell you. It would invalidate my contract. Con... what? You don't know what a contract is, either? Are those new, too? <laughs> Damn it. Another one. You be a good boy and stay out of the way. Yikes! I don't want to die! Please save me! I got this, all right, bring it. He's, this one's got two swords, and then rule of threes means we're gonna fight a third guy with a third sword, Zoro. God, that really does most of the work right there. Oh, gods. They really will just run past me, huh? Come the fuck back here. He kicked him! No! You dumbass, go away! Stop staying at something by the fight! That punch was on you. Why did you stick around? I'm trying to help you here. Wow, he's wiped out. Yeah. Hey, you still kicking? Yes, I'm still alive. <laughs> You're a real survivor, you know that? <laughs> All right, let's hit the road. <sighs> this here's the place. Now I gotta. Now all I gotta do is hand you over. <laughs> I made it. I'm home free. A hey, black suit evil man, watch out. Looks like he spoke a hair too soon. Oh no, is he a hitman too? What do you think he was? Hey, 
Who told you about this place, huh? Not gonna talk? I'll just take that as an invitation to kick your ass. Why did none of them speak? That's, is that gonna be a plot point? What's up with that? What's what's the what's the going on here? Oh, he's got a gun. Why did it go fist? Why did it go from sword to fist to gun? I thought you think there'd be a clear escalation, but there really wasn't. Why does he have to run towards him? He has a gun. <laughs> the face punch does wonders. Well, that's that then. Phew. I guess I'm safe for real now. I don't know if you're. If this many people are showing up this easily, I don't know if you're ever safe. Thank you for a job well done. The, the goddamn are you doing here? Where the, where's the fellow that's supposed to take this schlub off my hands? Don't worry about that. I got a call confirming both you... Both you gentlemen have completed your respective assignments. Gentlemen? That's correct, Suzuki-san. And you as well. What's going on here? <laughs> I suppose I can tell you now. This man you worked so hard to protect didn't really need protecting. He's one of our debtors, just like Tadashikun. Tadashikun. The fuck? While you two were stumbling about, the gentleman who actually required a bodyguard was safely delivered by one of our agents. So he was impersonating the person that was in danger? So we were just a couple decoys. Correct. This fellow agreed to act as a distraction in order to exchange in exchange for having his debts forgiven. Now he is debt free, and we were able to complete our own assignment without incident. It was a clever arrangement, you must admit. That must be a really valuable client because he's making he's making progress towards two different people's debts being settled. This guy completely and me and my guy partially. Is he telling the truth? Uh-huh. Son of a who cares? You're getting paid. What the fuck? What do you mean, son of a... Like, who cares? Wow, cool. Another guy is also getting his debt settled. Who cares? You're do this is a job for you. You weren't tricked into, like... You were, your motivations of the scenario don't come into the math. Thank you again for your hard work. I'll apply your compensation toward the repayment of Tadachi-kun's debts. I'll be in touch when your next assignment comes in. <laughs> Ridiculous, isn't it? All this time, the man you were risking your life to protect was just some loser up to his neck in debt. I... I mean, they were still trying to kill you. Sorry about that. This is the only way I could turn my life around. I was fresh out of options. I apologize for what, what little it's worth. It don't bother me none, except for the part where I was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> huh? If I decide to protect somebody, doesn't matter if he's a hotshot brain surgeon or a snot-nosed street punk. When I make a decision, I stick to it. Period. No excuses. That's what's important. Huh? Besides, I'm glad I got to be your bodyguard. If anything, you can feel better because this guy's probably morally a more righteous person than whoever the fuck random person was powerful enough to need a bodyguard in the first place. You are? You're gonna turn your life around, yeah? Keep your nose clean. Then I'm happy I could help. You fought hard to get your life back. Now take a deep breath, get out of here, and live it. Yeah, if there's anything to be mad about, I guess it's just the fact that they were endangering someone that was more innocent on behalf of a richer person, which is actually deeply fucked up. But I don't get the—I don't really get the feeling that that was what Sajima was such a son of a bitching. <laughs> hey, Mister. Yeah. Thanks. I'm gonna straighten up and fly right from here on out. I promise. I'm sure you have your own demons to face, same as anybody. So I'll be rooting for you. Heh. <laughs> Much obliged. Bye. Yeah, whatever his situation- we don't even know what his situation was, did we? Did I- or did I skim over that? So we don't really have even- we don't even have a reason to think that he, like, did anything morally wrong? We just know that he was in debt, which is not the same thing. Although it's... Capitalism fanatics will often conflate morality with, uh... Moral- with, uh, money, which is why... 
there's a lot of millionaire and billionaire worship and so on. But uh, no, uh, being in debt doesn't actually necessarily mean you did anything wrong. It's actually just a really fucked up unfair world in many cases and, peop and people have a lot of unfortunate circumstances. C. B. from Night in the Woods. Who told you could use this road? No one passes here without my say so except all those people doing it right now. You didn't know that's a sorry ass excuse. Now pay up. Sup? For example, it's really unfair to this guy that I'm a protagonist of an anime game. And so he can go fuck himself. Oh, there goes his nuts. Boom! And face punch. It's just so effective. God, there's definitely a tooth flying out every time you do that, isn't there? Hey, you. Come over here. Oh, I don't have enough heat. Embarrassing. More heat now, please. Whee! <laughs> that throw's so stupid. It's incredible. It has to be some kind of homage how completely unreasonable that throw is. Get up. Sorry, I said such crazy things. Here's some money and stuff. Oh, it's a it's a potion. Also valid. At least I've got it down which staircase takes me to my hideout. It's surprisingly hard to keep track sometimes. We're getting there. I definitely, I definitely do find it interesting that there's just... It's one thing to not bring back locations that you introduced later, but I do find it interesting that they introduced sections of Kamurocho that then later games don't have. That's interesting. Okay. The map sucks in this game, by the way. I'm just going to point that out. It's not good at... Maybe this is, might have been why they did it to some extent. The map's not good at handling multiple floors. And it's like a weird mix of lies or something? Oh, there is a quest thing here. Yeah, okay. I've noticed that it'll show me an icon on my map here when I'm not here, saying that there's a quest here. But then if I come here, it won't show a quest icon sometimes, and I have to just kind of search for it. And then you can't, and for some reason, uh, you can change floors on the map when you're in the overworld, but when you're in a place like this, which you got to via said map, you can't navigate to other floors of the map all of a sudden, so you can't tell how it interconnects. It's just it's just weird and incomplete. I don't know. Akiko. It even talks about his big sis in his sleep. Must be real worried. Yasuko was about his age when I beat the piss out of the relative of ours, and we began living on our lonesome. I remember her muttering my name in her sleep, too. Who's there? I have a message for ta from Tadokoro. Come in. Go out. Don't come in. Go out there. He's sleeping. <laughs> we have a job for you, suzuki san Great. Let me hear it. Very well. Allow me to explain. Your assignment will be to chase out the... Undesirables who are squatting in a building down in Nakamichi Alley. Oh, I don't like this. That's it. Easy peasy. Indeed. You only need to force them to vacate the premises. On the other hand, they number in the dozens, about 30. Do you still think it'll be easy peasy? Yeah, it's crowd control. You just throw people into each other. Eh, I'll figure something out. Oh, really? Against 30-something old odd assailants? Very well. Uh, then allow me to make an additional request. Spit it out. We would like you to apprehend their ringleader and hand him over to us. What for? It can't hurt to learn who's putting these punks up to it. Gotcha. So how much am I getting paid for this? Your payment will be one million yen. Nice round number. It's commensurate with the danger this job entails. Although I doubt it will pose any trouble at all for a man of your creden credentials. Hm. Enough with the bullshit. Where's this building at? 
and Nakamichi Alley, across some Orchid Palace Mahjong. Just look for the bottom feeders loitering outside. Please don't forget to capture their leader. Alive. I won't. Just across from Orchid... Orchid Palace Mahjong, right? Quite right. Godspeed, Suzuki-san. He doesn't usually murder people anyway. Hmm. Wonder what crap I'm getting myself into here. Well, apparently they have a leader, so it's less likely to be... It sounds less likely to be that it's a pack of homeless people, at least, and instead is like some rival gang or something, which you can feel a little better about, I guess. Big guy, are you really going to take that job? Hey there, Tadashi. Didn't know you were awake. The knocking woke me up. Good timing. Watch the place for me, will ya? I'm coming too. No. No. No way. But I can't sit around doing nothing while you're out there out doing all these dangerous things for me. Too late? Frankly, kid, if you came with me, you just get in the way. <laughs> oh man. Just relax. I think about seeing your sis again, alright? Alright, big guy. I'll be back real quick. Keep an eye on the joint. Okay. So I'm looking for a building near, or near Orchid Palace Mahjong in Nakamichi Alley. Guess I'd better get to it. In Nakamichi Alley. I'm not playing Mahjong unless they fucking make me. <laughs> Twice burned no more touch stove. I don't hate it. I just... <laughs> it's just frustrating trying to let's play a game where you're like, I don't get it! Someone explain it to me! It's like, alright, fine. It's the kind of thing where I might fiddle around with it in my free time, but I'm done trying to figure it out on camera at least. Or for, or for the sake of these games, specifically. Seems reasonable to me. We're down in Nakamichi Alley! Jump cut cause I took a break to do something and now I'm back. And so I figured I might as well walk to my destination before I start again. Just a minute ago, there was this old man in the convenience store drunk off his ass. He even had his tie around his head. Yeah, it's the revelation thing again. Oh. Shit, I missed it. K.O. Huh? <clears throat> but I messed one of them, does that matter? I hope not, because rewatching the whole cutscene kind of sounds like it annoying. I took my hand out the controller for one second. I know it was a mistake, but what the fuck? Oh, that's me messing up, okay. I was like, what the f I got a wood carving of a bear, nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it was so good too. I wasn't ready for that. It was a really good carving, but it was like, I'm like, how is that a martial art? <laughs> what the fuck? Why'd you draw? Why'd you carve a bear? It's uh, the QTs are a bit like, ah, oh, god damn it. It's always worth analyzing <clears throat> what the punishment will be if a player fails at the thing. And whether or not that's worth incorporating in your game. But frankly, she feels like it should just be enough to be like, Wow, look! Funny cutscene. 
whenever I get into a, a loop of repeating a revelation, I'm just like, ah, oh, fuck. All right, let's watch it again. Well. Although in the other cases, it was because I was, um... It was because I was messing up the... Knowing what answer I was supposed to pick. Where the fuck is he? The building across from Orchid Palace Mahjong. Okay, so is that listed on the map? Okay, that's there. Across from it, so it's not- Ah, uh, okay. It's not in this contiguous alley. Do they do this in Japan? Do they call the entire series of places an alley? Even though it'd be really confusing to find a specific location in that alley. Because it's like a bunch of different streets. I figure it might just be that they simplify it here. Because otherwise there'd be too many different places to look for on the map. <clears throat> I know this is sudden, but like, would you take a punch for me? I could have some real results to go up in ranks in the family, so if I beat up a strong mofo like you, I'll be bet... I'll bet I'll shoot straight to the top. Is this a normal fight? Wait, wasn't that- didn't that crowd of people look like they were the objective? Was this guy just spawned, like, within that crowd, confusingly? Hello. He's dead, folks. Oh, it's not over. Level up screen made me feel like it was over. There you go, buddy. Fuck you. I never considered how weak I was. I I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a... Uh... Wow, I'm a, I'm a stupid little bitch. I forgot to think about that. I wasn't very smart. <laughs> oh shit, I don't have this still? Probably have that. Lost track of that move for a while, whoops. Everyone was pointing out, you should get combo speed boost, and I was like, I, I probably already got that, right? I, they probably just missed it, or aren't there yet, or something. Surely I got combo speed boost immediately. Nope. <laughs> just kind of forgot about it in the, the, the skill menu tree. Yo, what do you want, shit for brains? I'm here to take out the trash. Now get out of here. On the double. You want us to leave? We're gonna need a going away present. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> My fist in your face is all you freeloaders deserve. Oh. Sh it. Ah, I want to throw one of the money there one. What was that pose you had? Whatever. We kind of thought we'd fight in a more open place with the promise of there being thirty of them. Are more of them coming? Get up. Besides, you must swing at people that are on the ground. You're wasting heat. God damn it. I'm never gonna get enough heat this way. You bastard. Heat, heat decay is brutal if we get caught in situations where we can't keep the momentum going. Ugh. What's your problem, you crazy old bastard? Alright. Is there a boss inside here somewhere? So it's just one it's a it's a compound storming mission. Like in the story, usually. Oh, straight to the roof. No one working inside? There's probably not a model of the inside. You're the head honcho around here. <laughs> Another dimwit who ain't got the manners of a dog. I'm Hayase. I look after this place. And we ain't going nowhere. You want us to leave? You're gonna have to force us out. Okay. It's turning into a Nappa voice. Sup, sup, sup. Oh, Hayase doesn't even have shit for health. Embarrassing. 
Matsumoto just got Motsu murdered. <laughs> he's dead. It's funny because he's dead. The joke was murder. He's dead! <laughs> oh no! Oh, here's all the crowds just showing up, I guess. What the fuck is that throw? Oh my god! Run! He's going to murder you! Hope I didn't kill their leader. <laughs> They're just spawning people forever, apparently. Hey, buddy. Oh. Wow, you went and found a brick wall to- Oh, no! Who doesn't finding a wall to throw him into? That wasn't that one. BRB, borrowing your bud. Just kidding, I'm not returning him. You're alone, who are you, who are you holding me for? Jesus Christ. It even looked like he one-handed it. Like he just, boom, bye. Why'd you have to make more work for me? God damn it. You're coming with me. This man is the ringleader, I presume. Yep. I signed, sealed, and delivered. As promised. Sir, I'll escort our friend back here back to the office. Fine. I'll, I'll be right there. I don't... What was his voice? Fuck. <laughs> Congratulations on a job well done. A job like that ain't hardly a job at all. Perhaps it's none of my business, but if you and Tadashi are perfect strangers, why go to such lengths for him? I wouldn't expect you to understand. But I made a promise to Tadashi, man to man, and that's reason enough for me. Is that so? No, I can't say I do understand. Alright, fine. I can see my further talk on the subject would be a waste of my time and yours. Hey, don't forget what you promised the kid. I wouldn't dream of it. And next time, find me a better paying gig. I'll certainly do my best. Oh, by the way, our mutual friend Hayase had this on him. You must, you may have it. A nice little bonus, yes? Gee, thanks. The Eye of the Dragon. Until your next assignment then, goodbye. It's the... Eye of the dragon, it's the that, that, that that's not the right animal for that song. It's a, it's a jewel. <laughs> Sweet. Probably use it in weapon crafting, if I were to guess. Another system I won't engage with. Cause it's annoying and weapons break. So fuck that. Not worth it. People bring weapons to fights, it's fine. I am basically convinced that the only purpose of weapons is just to, like, stockpile certain things to use against bosses, I guess? Outside of that context, it's just kind of who gives a shit. I guess take a cab. I'm down here. Seems like there's no more... Um... Quests hiding in my basement this time. I do wonder how they landed on 710. It just seems oddly specific. Alright, now I'm ready. Let's go. Oh. Are we gonna fight? I need to get down that manhole. It's not a euphemism. You're in my way. Yo, this is our turf. We don't have to do shit for you. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I bet Pops here lives down there. 
hit <laughs> like a sewer rat? That's freaking hilarious. We'll let you through, but you have to pay the toll to get in this hole. Still not a euphemism. And if I don't... Well, then I, I will beat you to a bloody pulp. That's right. So I suggest you pay up, Pops. What a joke. Ex fucking excuse me? You just screwed with the wrong crew. Shut your trap and let's go. I want to. I want to see you try and beat me to a bloody pulp. Yes, for it, old man. Gang members. Oh no! Shiver me timbers! I just threw three of them off a of roof. Probably more than three. <laughs> oh. Three gang members, or more than three gang members. <laughs> Oh! That's a good one. That one's silly. Oh, that's good heat charging when you're on a crowd like this. Nope. Or it's not good heat charging if you're trash, apparently. Come on, guys. Give me enough to ruin you. That was just in the nick of time. We've hit the point now where I just reference other people's Patreon ads, apparently. That's not a bat! I thought I had a bat. It's a very confusing outcome when it's shattered. They just don't make them like they used to. Hit him when he's down, damn it. Oh, god damn it. I missed my chance to do the big one. Ugh, sorry. No more, please. Yeah, we don't want any more trouble. Just shut up and step aside. And I don't want to see you around Comrade Show no more. Yes, sir. We're out of here. The whole neighborhood. What if they live here? It's going to be awkward for them. Sorry, Mama, moving out. Some guy in an army surplus jacket beat the shit out of me. Sajima can enter manholes. He can access the enter... Wow. So thanks, game. For the tutorial on the thing I've done before and was trying to do this whole time and you wouldn't let me. Am I allowed to do it now? Did I have to do that tutorial first to get to a place I've been before? Am I gonna go to the other manhole now? It's gonna be like, go ahead, buddy. I partly wanna test it, but I'm not gonna run all the way here, there right now. Oh yeah. I recognize this sewer. I don't think I've been to it on a in a PS3 generation game. I don't, I don't think I had access to it last game. Maybe. So I'm used to this place looking more detailed, actually, because of the Kiwami remakes. Oh, you must be the out there. Tr you out there treasure hunting too? <laughs> you can't just look at a treasure if you're like you're better than it. That isn't right. You've got to just focus on it. Be the treasure. When you become the treasure, you can hear it talking to you, whispering sweet nothings that only another treasure can hear. Yeah, I know about first person mode. You got that? Focus and look. No, I thought he was going to give me the treasure tracker. So I could be haunted by beeping noises again and spend 10 minutes of every episode looking around like, where is it coming from? <laughs> People love that part, I'm sure. I heard one heck of a racket topside. Something happened. How did you hear that from here? I guess it echoes like crazy down here through a closed manhole. Don't look at me. Probably just some assholes in a bar fight. A likely story. You're new in town, huh? Well, let's see that you don't bring any t uh, trouble down here. We don't have anything anywhere else to go, you know. <laughs> I'm just trying to pull your leg. Take it easy now. Did you hear about the death row inmate who broke out of maximum security and fled to Comrocho? <laughs> <laughs> I've had just about enough of your crackpot rumors. If that was true, there'd be policemen everywhere. No, it's totally legit. There's this black site in Okinawa where they hold only the worst and most violent felons. But since it's a government secret, law enforcement has to keep things hush-hush if anyone breaks out. The media caught wind of this. It'd be a PR nightmare. That's why a classified task force is leading the manhunt. You can keep your crazy-ass conspiracy theories. It's always inside job this and cover up that. No wonder you can't hold down a steady job. Fine, don't believe me. But don't say I didn't warn you. 
folks are already blabbing about my getaway all the way out here in Tokyo. Best keep a low profile. He's got like a suit jacket on and a tie. In the sewer. And I'm mixed messaging. It's got it. Huh. It's, it's, like, it's like he's wearing a homeless set up, get up as a disguise because only they, those people will listen to their cons conspiracy theories, but but like that's he's only a homeless man by night. By day, he's f -f 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 Captain White Collar. <laughs> it's a secret dis <laughs> secret identity. The Purgatory Underground is up? Okay. Oh. Yep, here it is. Just moved somewhere somehow. How did you do that? It's shaped the same, even. What the hell is this place? Does everyone go through there to get here? That seems unlikely, right? There must be a real front door, right? There's no one that stops you from just walking in? Ah, there you are. Who in the goddamn... I've been waiting for you, Taiga Saijima. While you've been looking for me, I've had my eye on you. So, is there something you wanted to ask me? Yeah. Folks call you some kind of info broker. That they do. I'm a dealer, and the drug I sell is Intel. Information on everything that goes down in Comrade Show eventually reaches my ears, one way or another. I have a network of, inf of informers at my fingertips and surveillance cameras mounted all over town. I've got eyes in every nook and cranny. Time for some answers. So what's the deal with this purgatory joint? You know that entertainment area you saw as you came in? Kinda hard to miss. Well, I built it myself years ago. What you see, I created. Comrades rich and famous come here from all quarters for a taste of the pleasures they can't get above ground. We cater to every taste, no matter how decadent. Gambling, sex, things of that nature. Normally, potential clients are carefully screened before I let them in, though I've made an exception in your case. But these pleasures are going to cost you, just be careful the place doesn't suck you in. Don't forget, you're a man on a mission. You being here means there's something you want to know. Something only I can find out for you. Yeah, I'm looking for Hideki Saisai. Patriarch of the Saisai family. Or at least he was back in 85. No worries at. I do, but my intel doesn't come cheap. Name your price. Let's say... 10 million yen. Is that a joke? I ain't, I ain't holding that kind of cash. But you already knew that, didn't you? Of course. I wouldn't be so much of an info dealer if I didn't. But you do have another option. There's something you can do for me instead. Shocked. <laughs> yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> Follow me. I want you to kill Cosmo Kiryu. <laughs> oh, as we're at the arena. I guess there's going to be an arena arc again. What kind of place is this? The Underground Coliseum. Only VIP members are allowed to spectate the fights here. I'm guessing you're not inviting me to watch. Exactly. I want you to enter the exhibition deathmatch I'm holding. Deathmatch? Deathmatch? Heh. <laughs> That's right. A bona fide deathmatch. Not like that fake crap they show on TV. Two fighters enter the ring. Only one walks out alive. I'm not going to force you against your will, but if you can't pay, this is your only option to obtain that info on your old boss. Fine. I'm in. It's settled then. There's only one rule. Weapons and medicines are strictly forbidden during the match. It's gonna be a lot harder to kill somebody without a weapon. <laughs> this is a commitment at some point. You're just gonna be beating someone that's already down. Now, I suggest you prepare yourself. Come see me when you're ready to, to begin the match. Is there a save point down here? Yep. There's no... counter... I guess we don't need a weapon shop or anything. I 
guess XX is my weakest stamina. Might as well max out my health meter. Before I make big mistakes. That's an audio bug, isn't it? Uh, when you finish saving it, it doubles a little bit. It replays the same audio over itself, so it ends up being louder than it's supposed to be. I take it you're ready to enter the Colosseum. I'm broke? What does that mean? To tell you the truth, I'm broke. No money to prep with. I probably should have seen this coming. Since you're so strapped for cash, take this. Consider an advance on your prize money. Now, hurry up and get ready to earn that back. <laughs> I think they wanted me to buy... Maybe they wanted me to buy equipment because I can't use weapons or other stuff. But I don't feel like it. <laughs> or I'm tracking down even where to do it right now. Yeah, I'm ready. Alright then. Let's go. <clears throat> Need some water. ここで優勝者のエキシビションデスマッチを行います。やれ。ってください。青コーナーより挑戦者西島大河の 1回数組織に立ち向かい。18人もの極道者をこの世から消し去った伝説のヒットマン。裏切りと復讐の脱獄集。西島。はい。赤コーナー。チャンピオンの入場です。この男が牧場に姿を現してから約半年間。戦無敗。戦の戦争を特に抜けた藤見の男。地下闘技場エンチャンピオン。イワン。イブラヘモビッチ。この試合 特別ルールで行います。この戦いに泥はありません。こちらかの死をもって勝敗を決める非常のデスマッチ。今オングです。Well, no pseudonym. That's gonna backfire, isn't it? There's no Suzuki here. I'm just outing myself in front of a bunch of people that live here. It's not an official thing, so it's not- I don't think it's televised, so no one exactly- There's not a lot, a lot of publicity. Fuck, I missed the heat. There's not a ton of publicity about it, but there's still gonna be people that know I'm here. And that's really bad news for me. Is that the word's probably gonna get out that I'm here even more explicitly? Whoop! Got rude. How'd that work? That that almost never works. God damn it! Yeah. Nope, heat action him. Oh, it was gone. Why was it gone? There we go. Ding, 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 ding. He hit me like once.
誰や今俺に一人増えても問題ない言うてやつはお前かお前かお前ら殺せ殺せ言うてるけどもやなこん中でほんまに人殺したやつがおるんかこら。ええか教えといたるわ人を殺すっちゅうはな人を殺すっちゅうはなごっつ怖いもんなんじゃ15年前のあの日から俺は毎日必ず夢を見る18人殺した日の夢や殴ったやつの頬の感触骨が砕ける瞬間の音悲鳴死んでいったやつの顔全部が事細かに夢に出る死んだ人間の家族に申し訳ないとかそんなんは当然思うせやけどなせやけどなそんなもんちゃうねえ人を殺したらな殺した人間は恐怖から逃げられへんねえ毎日毎日怖い思いせなあかんねえそれがどんなに苦しいことかお前らにわかるかくだらんこんな勝負は俺は降りる That was a heartfelt speech, and it was neat and all that, but also, I partly couldn't help but think, like, how many of them did you beat to death? I really feel like you shot basically all of them. <laughs> so the, uh, I'm constantly tormented by all their, by cra crushing their skulls with my fists, and I was like, oh, maybe you don't remember that clearly. <laughs> Awkward. Hold up. Why? I had a feeling you weren't just another psychopath. The hell does that mean? If you had killed Ivan, I would have denied your request. Excuse me. People come here to see blood, but letting my prize fighters murder each other would be bad business. I'm relieved to see there's some humanity left in you. Get to the point. I'll tell you what you want to know. Where Sasai is. That death match back at the underground Coliseum, it was a test. Yeah, you said that already. What's that supposed to mean? He already said. I wanted to see how you'd act under, under those circumstances. I hope you don't hold it against me, but it was necessary. Relax. Ivan will survive, <laughs> obviously. Hell, he'll be back in the ring in a week at most. But for now, he's in the hospital. That was quite a beating you gave him. At least I know he's alright. Now, as for that request about your patriarch's fate following the incident 25 years ago. After Sasai stepped down in 1985, the Ueno Saiwa clan put a hit on him, forcing him to go into hiding. Several months later, someone brought him down here to purgatory, and he was barely clinging to life. He's been living on the street since then. What? You're telling me Sasai san is still alive? Uh. Yes. It was all we could do to keep him from dying. He's homeless now, but he's still in Kamurocho. I see. That said, what? He's probably, how shall I say, not the man you remember. Huh? 
I'll have him brought over right now. Here. Yeah, that's right. Bring him in. Well, you're getting what you want a lot faster than you expected, huh? Oh, he's got a smile on his face. Look at him. Nope, smile's gone. <laughs> that. That's him. <sighs> Do you know who brought Sasai down here? Half dead? A quarter century ago? It was Gora Majima. What? I can only assume Majima was trying to protect Sasai from the Uen no Saiwa clan after you were gone. Ah. Ah. Oh. Sasai san. Oyashi. Oyashi. Sasai no Oyashi. Oyashi. さえしまです。今帰ってきました。無駄だ。もうこの男に自立した意識はない。いくら話しかけても反応することはない。親父、俺です。帰ってきたんです。親父。うしさささえじまなおやじなんでこらいなことになんで Wow. Can he be walking around with a cane and so on, but have what would he he referred to as no not a shred of consciousness left? What would that mean? Hmm. Had some time to take it all in. Yeah, I owe you one. Thanks for letting me see him again. A deal's a deal. So, what will you do now? There's one more thing I gotta find out. You mean Majima? Yeah. I gotta know what really happened back in 85. I wanna hear it straight from his mouth. Have I spent half my year, half my life behind bars for nothing? I can't go out without knowing. That reminds me. You broke yourself out of prison, right? It would seem the police are hot on your trail. I heard they got a wind of you being sighted in Kamurocho. Yeah, thanks, by the way, dick. The city's crawling with cops right now. Shit. You'd better lay low until things calm down. You still have that hideout, don't you? Yep. Then wait out there for a while. You should be safe from the police as long as you stay underground. I just gave you, like, a bunch of money... Can you just send Majima to me, then, by any chance? Dick? You look big enough to handle a manhole cover. Use those to access the sewers. Why is this tutorializing stuff I've done already again? Did they not... Is the reason I couldn't get manhole covers because they didn't mean to let me in them yet? Or what's, what's, what's going on with this campaign? It's weird. Use those to access the sewers and you'll be able to move freely. Right outside here, there's an entrance to an underground passage. It'll take you to one of Kamurocho's manholes. I suggest using the, those manholes wherever you find them. They'll help you get back to your hideout undetected. Gotcha. Thanks. It's one thing to think maybe they're just reminding me of a mechanic because it's going to be really important now, but they specifically wouldn't let me do it recently. So it almost, it makes me wonder, like, they almost, like, screwed up their order of operations and, like, blocked it off at the wrong time and or maybe let me in for the first time at the wrong I don't know weird mm -hmm.